Hey, how's it going guys? Assault here. With mscript install, we are now ready to compile our own C code and get rid of all of this complexity that comes with loading WebAssembly module manually. So first up, I will duplicate index.html and name it index underscore old.html and now remove all of the JavaScript code from previous lesson back to a simple bit of HTML where we can load the new mscript and wasm in a minute. Then to compile that new wasm, we are going to need a C code to compile i will create a new directory in the root of this project lib with a single c file called demo.c i'll keep the actual c code quite simple so let's start with what every c should start with a main function which for now just return one just something so we can compile and load this over to the terminal again in this wasm project directory run emcc lib slash demo.c so telling him a script to compile this demo.c file and now we very importantly we have to tell him script and how we can compile the way we pass any option to him script and then it's with the s flag setting the option name to equal option like this and in this case wanting to compile demo.c to webassembly module we can set random wasm option equal to one so it's true and with the flag o where we want the resulting file to be output slash demo.js note that this is a demo.js not demo wasm remember mscript and generate all of the code and the helper function we need to load and use the compiled webassembly module all of which will be created in this output file demo.js enter that's done without any errors so we know it it works and when we check back in our project we know both demo.js and demo.wasm this demo.js being mscript and glue code for loading and using a comping wasm so how we load our wasm then back to index.html all we actually need to do is link the script in JavaScript a new script tag with source so linking an external script pointing to demo.js save this restart the server go back to browser and nothing not that we are expecting anything to happen check the sources tab and there you have it our wasm has been loaded by demo.js script you might also recall I mentioned earlier that mscripten will take care of our browser while the latest instantiate streaming method isn't working or when the method of loading a wasm cannot be used due to incorrect mind type remember we have to set the mind type to be an application slash wasm in our test server for instantiate streaming to work let's see what happens when we removed it simply comment that line reload the server try again by reloading sure enough wasm streaming compiled failed of course being due to incorrect mind type falling back to array buffer instantiation so automatically taken care of by mscreen without us having to write a single line of code being confirmed the web assembly module had loaded and there it is as before i'll also change the server back to its former state keep in mind we all still need to reload this again so without it wasn't being loaded let's change it and see some sort of output from it if you are familiar with c you'll know that this main function gets called automatically when a c script is run but as we saw earlier in this case of web assembly that doesn't happen automatically and instead main is treated as any other function that needs to be called manually not when using mscripten however mscripten that mimics the standard c functionality by calling the main function automatically as soon as the wasm is loaded i'll have mine log out a simple message before we to do this but with mscripten we can use the native printf c function this being another convenient feature of mscripten printf will automatically get translated into console dot log in the wasm i'll just say wasm ready as before and not forgetting even though printf gets overridden by mscripten we still have to tell our c code what this function declaration look like or provide the function header to so to speak c of course already provide the printf function so checking the c documentation we see printf is imported via the standard io library meaning we can just add to our demo dot dot c script include standard io.h the standard io header file back to the terminal reload our server while we are here in the project directory recompile demo.js and demo.c bunch of problems fix those try again again fix those again try again and now done reload our server head back to browser hit refresh we get our message so mscripten took care of loading all of them calling main translating our native cprint function to log out 
on the browser. Already a lot simpler than writing all of this ourselves. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to further customize C compilation. See you guys then.